my dad's a stained glass artist, and that's what he does professionally. Um, so growing up, as soon as I could pick up a hammer, I was in his shop building things and making stained glass windows. That kind of evolved into um, building lodgepole pine furniture and then saying, you know what, I have a, a big interest in, in art and photography. So I went back to school and got a degree in, in uh, art at Colorado State. I developed a realization that I really worked better in the third dimension instead of two-dimensional drawing, painting, photography. So I convinced the, the professor to let me like go into the metal shop and, and do some things over there. I have one piece that's in front of the Mars building that's uh, a steel and concrete piece. It's a memorial to a friend. It's on 20th in between J and K. I found this motorcycle in, in Seattle at like a used tool shop or something like that. 1970 Yamaha HS1B. It's a twin 90cc. Top speed 55. And this piece is named the President's Chair. Four U.S. presidents had this chair in Aircraft One or even before the nomenclature Air Aircraft One was uh, assigned to the President's Aircraft. You can sit in it and actually roll down the wall. One day I was out exploring like a little kid through this airplane uh, salvage yard and came across this wing. And there were actually two wings. It's from a Cessna Skymaster, uh, which is a push-pull. So it's two engines, one pushes and one pulls. This is actually the nose cone from the big drop fuel tank protruding through a wall, or at least visually protruding through a wall. I had this gear reducer, this kind of a gearbox that then spits out a different speed in terms of rotation. I'll do a fan. Again, back to the airplane graveyard. Some flaps from a 210 Cessna and contracted the contraption. <laughs> yeah, and the tension between these two columns is pretty amazing when you watch it turn two RPMs in 21 feet of diameter. A 60 to 1 reduction from a 1725 RPM electric motor. It was fun.